big challenge I see for a lot of presenters is when they craft a meaningful and memorable story, they often want to force that message in there so that we walk away as the audience with something to do. Now, it's true that we should ask ourselves, what do we want our audience to think, feel, or do differently as we create the story? But we don't have to be so obvious at the end of our stories, giving the audience something to do or challenging them. I call this the have you ever type of conclusion. Have you ever uh, been in a situation where you felt uncomfortable? Well, here's what you can do. The audience doesn't need that. If you've structured your story correctly, we'll pick up the message you're trying to give us. You don't have to hit us over the head, preach to us, or make it so blatantly obvious that this is the next thing to do. Right? We get it. In my story about driving a real race car at the legendary Indianapolis Motor Speedway, I used to have this problem in the early version. I got a bit preachy. Now all I do is mention that this is the lesson that I learned. And I might conclude with a couple of questions, but I don't preach them, hit them over the head and say, you, you got to do this. You got to get in the right lane, get your foot off the brake. No, that's up to them. That was the lesson I learned. The audience can figure out, hey, maybe I'm not giving 100% to my career. Maybe I'm in the wrong lane. Maybe I've been holding myself back, putting my foot on the brake of my career. I don't need to preach that to them. So be very aware of having that kind of cliched, have you ever type ending that the audience doesn't need. They're smart enough to figure out your point. And if they're not, you're not being clear with your message. In the next video, we're going to talk about an important lesson about storytelling and about when not to tell your story.